Hey guys, what's going on? We're on our way to another event here in Maitland. As a couple, one of our goals is, is to be the best couple that we can be and to be one of the best couples, the best marriages, the best husband, the best wife, like ever and the best that we can possibly be. One thing we're gonna start doing is instead of just putting like episode or vlog number like a lot of people do, which has some significance, but we wanna add like timestamps and allow you to go on a journey with us. So obviously right now we're in the countdown till the days that we get married. And then after that, we'll probably do like um, a, a, a number of days that were are within the honeymoon. So like honeymoon day one, honeymoon day two. And after that, what we wanna do is do like day uh 300 like 10 days married or day 10 married or whatever however that's worded that way you can kind of go along our journey you're like dang i remember when like before they were married i remember when it was this amount of days on their honeymoon i remember when there were this many days into their marriage this many days like after they had like their first kid together or whatever it, it means and we don't want to necessarily ask you guys to just subscribe we want to tell you guys to like buy in to like this new way of thinking and adopt this lifestyle of life is better together and like how can we do things in life that are not only going to improve our lives and help us have fun but improve other people's lives as well so this okay this was oh, take it oh i like yeah. that <laughs> well, I, <laughs> this event that they're having right now this soup um, tasting battle thing happens once a year but the organization that they partner with is called iDignity and once a month iDignity gets with the local DMVs and different people from the government to help homeless people get their IDs, get their identification so that way they can, you know, apply for benefits or apply for jobs and help them get back on their feet. So we're going to try some of these soups in the same way that we tried the burgers at Burger Battle. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere, but basically we try the soups and then you vote, right? Yes. So we're going to try the different soups. Uh, they have like the celebrity judges and then like we, the people get a vote as well. Say he like how many are there total? Seven. Seven. Yeah. It's actually grilled cheese and tomato. You get bonus points for the bread. We gotta hurry up. Spanish chorizo and potato soup. A little bit of manchango cheese. Thank you, sir. And topped with a fresh uh, cilantro cream and fresh chives. Thank you. Okay. You dig chili. I dig it. You dig some chili. Hey. Some sour cream. You want something a little spicy? Oh, wow. Pickled peppered onions right on top. Mexican sunshine. You dig chili. Last one. This one right here is so good. It could be Valeria. What's this one called? Root for Turnip by East End Market. Yes. Yo, this one is so good. I had to come back for a for a double. Another. Second serving. Oh yeah, double up seconds. This one right here is good. I'm gonna be going back to that restaurant and getting that. <laughs> That's good. They're literally like. Throw some grass in there. This soup is gonna be so good. We'll just throw some grass in there. And y'all still gonna like it. Uh, it gives it a little flavor though. What I think is crazy is that some of those places, they don't have those soups on the actual menu. It's like they make them just for these events. And it's so good and you want it and you can't ever get it. And here, here's the one that counts right here, the People's Choice Award. Uh, the People's Choice Award for the best tasting soup. Selected by popular vote goes to, let's do a real good drum roll. Mayor. Spanish chorizo. Creamy, creamy. So 
Oh, we just got done with this event here. The thing that I like it about this event was it kind of deals with like what we were talking about earlier with like, it's not just about like soup and events and like eating all the food you can and just having fun. It's like they do it for a purpose. It's kind of like this type of stuff that we want to get behind is stuff that are shifting the culture and things that actually matter and are adding value into people's lives. And it's not just about like fun and eating food and doing all these things. It's actually about like impacting people's lives and changing people's lives. So. We really didn't even know much about this event. We really just thought it was gonna be like, like, <laughs> literally like soup or like all you can eat soup or, or like a soup battle or whatever. But really turned into being something inspirational and something that you know we probably will end up getting being a part of in the future. So basically, I just want to end that with you know like obviously we want you guys to subscribe to the channel because that's obviously gonna help us grow. But it's more important to get behind the messages that we're behind. We don't want you guys to just subscribe just because you like to watch the videos. We want you guys to actually follow us because you guys believe in the same stuff we believe in, which is, you know, life is better together and we need to invest in other people and it's not just about creating videos for people to watch that. It's just about you and your life. It's about how can we impact you guys and make a difference in your life. We don't want you to just be watching us for just for entertainment. It's like, how can we add value into what you guys are doing? So, like I was saying, we just want to make, we just want to, make an impact that the way that we can it's not about like us just doing stuff for couples but it's like just in life in general it's like whether you have a brother sister cousin friends it doesn't matter like let's all like pour into each other and and uh just make the world a better place and it's not just about like like i've been saying it's not just about like doing fun stuff for no reason and then we die and it's like what impact did we leave so drop a thumbs up if that's you know something you feel like you can get behind like feel free obviously to subscribe if you guys want to get behind it and then just drop a comment if you guys have any advice feedback or you're like yo i want to get behind this or these are some topics you guys should talk about or there's anything that's on your mind we want to get to like know the people and not just look at like subscribers as a number and instead look at people as like an actual person Is there a plural for butterfly or is it just butterflies? Or do you just say butterfly? I think it's just butterfly. No matter how many there are? What's like a pack of them called? You know how they have all those weird names for like stuff? It'd be like, oh, a pack of birds is called a... Oh, yeah. Not a swallow or something like that? I don't know stuff about animals, guys. So if you happen to know what a pack of butterflies is called, drop that comment below. <laughs>